on this edition of the update 33.1 beta we get patch notes for the treasure bugen event and also the farmer's fair the treasure bugen event will start july 21st and last throughout july 26th and for those who don't know during this event Every time you do a scaling instance above level 20, there's a chance for a treasure bugen to spawn during the instance. And all you have to do is kill him before he escapes. He will not try to attack you, he will just simply try to evade and run away from you. So basically you just need to hunt him down and kill him as soon as you see him. And for doing this, you can earn different type of rewards, probably some ally stuff and maybe some new cosmetics. The Farmer's Fair will arrive on August 9th and end on August 30th. So it will last exactly three weeks. In this time, you can of course do the usual Farmer Fairs stuff that you can every year. And of course, we'll see the perfect picnic, but more importantly, Rang return to the game. As usual, you have Tier 1, Tier 2. And as usual, you kind of want to do this for the best in slot pocket item, the jeweled bell reforged, and the lash fragment reforged. Both will unquestionably be the best in slot pocket item for any class. You can also go to the festival coordinator and pick up the seasonal quest, the coins of the rift. Complete tier two rank seven times in three weeks. So you have 21 days to complete it seven times and you can see the rewards you get the virtue xp pigments of splendor and most importantly you get a tracery token legendary this means you get a gold token which gives you a selectable gold tracery which is always nice so it appears this quest is definitely worth it this year and like i said other than that you have your usual stuff farmers fair quests you can do and there's also some new rewards. In the patch notes, it reads a new boating themed held item. I'm guessing the ore in hand. As you can see, you can use an ore as a weapon. You get this cosmetic. And there's also some other boat stuff like a rowboat you can put in your, your yard and stuff. And like I said, we have two new pets. Home of the Mushroom Netherhound. Or 60 farmers fair tokens this is what that little doggo looks like and there's also a tome of the feed laden donkey and on beta it's only available for mithril coins so 30 mithril coins for this feed laden donkey a couple of other news every relic master in the game has been removed you might remember the old classic legendary system having a forge master and a relic master. Phalanx used to be a relic master. I think they just kept Phalanx as a reforge because of the quest. Li starter quest. But all the relic masters are gone because we don't need them anymore. Another thing that's quite big, the heritage runes that give you legendary item XP that you can use on the reward track will no longer drop from instances or skirmishes. So pretty much these are going to be much, much harder to get by. And a lot of people like doing running small. <clears throat> so when this update goes live, you can no longer earn any kind of heritage runes from any instance, any instance or any skirmish in the game. If you like Lord of the Rings Online, there's one place you need to be. In every video that I post, you can go down to the description and join my Discord server. This will take you to the Guniverse, a Discord server specifically made for Lord of the Rings Online. Here you will have monthly giveaways where people can enter and win Lotro Point codes. You'll also see whenever I post a new video, as well as stream. There are discussion channels for every class, or PvP, whatever you want from Lotro. And there's also a best in slot section, 
where you can find screenshots of everything you need in the game, every new gear that comes out, everything you need, pretty much all the best items you can find here. And all the way at the bottom is my video archive. You can find all my old videos. But if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings Online, if you're a new player, if you're an experienced player, this is a good place to discuss and learn about the game. 